late December, um, immigrant detainees in Hudson and Essex County jails started a hunger strike to protest the poor conditions and the lack of COVID-19 protections. And in order to try to break the strike and retaliate, ICE transferred uh, many hunger strikers from, you know, to Florida, into Texas and El Paso, and up here uh, to Batavia. So there are still five people um, who have been put in, uh, you know, who have been put in solitary confinement um, as retaliation for their striking. Um, and one person who uh, was transferred, wasn't allowed to quarantine and is in a unit with 40 other people and five to six of them are displaying COVID-19 symptoms. Being out here close to the sign, close to the gate, if you make enough noise, people on the inside can hear. Uh, last week we were outside of the ice field office where Thomas Feely works, um, you know, same office as Delaware North um, in Buffalo, letting them know. And this was part of an effort to, you know, let the people here know that don't have as much of a community, that, you know, there are people out here in this rural area that support them and want them to keep up their efforts. We're calling on the ice field director of Buffalo, Thomas Feely, to release the hunger strikers and the nine women who have been transferred from Batavia to Rensselaer County Jail. Um, transfers are really dangerous. They um, unnecessarily increase the risk of COVID-19. Um, and it's kind of a shell game that ICE is playing with people's lives and we need it to stop.